Hi, beautiful souls. Let's talk about self-love. Everyone loves the word love. Love is the core of everything in of nature, in us as a humans. If we function on love and our thoughts are based on love and everything we are and do or have or be comes from love, the world would be this amazing place becoming one. As we are going through our human experience, we are challenged, we have beliefs and limitations which we create in the childhood, genetics beliefs and paradigms that are programming of our subconscious mind. So it's something we taught, we were raised in a certain environment, beliefs we created by either listening to media, parents, uh, older people, school influencers. It doesn't really matter. And I'm not criticizing those people or having zero judgment. They did the best they could with what they had, the power of awareness they were practicing. And this is where it comes down to us. Like, how much can I serve people? How better I can serve people? Is my point of focus on how can I help others? Or if, if it's my point of focus, how can I make more money? Or how can I just do better for myself? In universal nature laws, it doesn't work. So even if you create a success, which is based on just getting better for yourself, and now, okay, let me clarify that. You need to grow and get better and greater every single day in who you are. But overall, if we impact the world with what we're doing and adding value to the world and causing impression of increase with every single people we meet, whatever business you're in, whether you're self-employed, employed a business, you always come down to a values. You know, you go from your gratitude and how much you're developing people, not directing things. Even if you have a huge corporation, a successful one, how much is the mindset of giving and developing? Take away the people from the company. What, what is there? There's no company. Company consists of people. And great leaders know this and they can manage people well because they're developing the people and the company develops itself by development of people. And it comes down to self-love. If we all appreciating and loving ourselves, we give more. We think more in creative mode rather than competitive mode. We are there to help and serve to the best, highest standards, regardless of looking what is it in for me. We do the best we can with what we've got from where we are and we take it to the better level every single day by becoming better. Because if you're living in this mode, you must become better. And then you're causing this ripple effect. So self-love, self-deserving, self-worth, it's not, oh, I'm not doing this because what is in for me? I'm doing this because I'm growing, giving love, helping others and it will come back to you multiplied by the nature of not expecting anything back. But if you're looking at things like, oh, she's not giving me anything, why should I give her anything? Like even talking about love and relationships. Really, really think about uh, how are you doing this? Are you doing it because of ego and expecting something back? Shift that focus. Don't worry about all the negative things and egos and shift it back to how can I do it better? How can I serve better? How can I do more? How can I give more? How can I leave impression of increase with someone? Who can I help today? Not expecting anything back. Who could benefit from my service, my help, my even for a, meet a friend who may not be happy for a coffee? How can I increase someone's life? And increase every single person's life because there is not a single person you meet every single day. Person, situation, whatever you're facing, every single day are meant to happen to grow you. You are learning from everyone and everything. But how coachable and teachable are you? And that is self-love will always bring more love and greatness into your life. And then you can pass that and reflect that and shine on others too. And I'll see you next time.